I'm going to show you how to use this XRF. Uh, we will demonstrate it further in class, but this is X-ray fluorescent analyzer used to measure lots of elements from manganese to uranium. And mostly I use it for heavy metal analysis. Typically in the lab, we have either XRF cups, like special plastic cups that comes with it, or the plastic bags. But we can directly use XRF for any materials. Uh, solids preferred, but liquids can be measured as well. So here we'll show, we'll see how uh, concentrations of some elements changed in the uh, horizons. So you will tell me which horizon uh, goes first. And uh, this looks like a gun. It has a window with x-ray right now, it doesn't work. Uh, but if it works, you will see the red light coming out, so it's x-ray. Uh, you will never put fing uh, your fingers or body or anything in front of this when it works. So it's, uh, x-ray always goes that way. Now, no other sides, just that way. Whenever is a trigger is on, right now it's off. And then there is this screen that directly tells us what concentrations are measured. There are different uh, uh, modes here. I'm going to use a geo exploration one, but there are like plant matter, there is a soil mode, there's a geo mining, and some other alloy related uh, modes. Uh, it also has different times. I put only 30 seconds for screening purposes, so we get quicker results. But if you want more accurate results, we'll be using 90 seconds. The longer, the better. So which is the first uh, horizon? What is the centimeter? Zero to nine. Zero to nine. So all I do is uh, press the trigger, putting it against the um, clear wall, and it's uh, analyzing, it shows me five seconds, seven seconds, and it will uh, beep, if you can hear slightly, at 10 seconds. And then it will go all the way to 30 seconds and we're able to see the results. So we'll do it for each of the horizons and we will write down the results and then also compare what you get. Seven seconds more. 